Finding x and y intercepts of irrational functions is just like finding the intercepts of any other function. Namely, we set the x equal to 0 to find the y-intercept, set y equals 0 to find the x-intercept. So let's do one. To find the y-intercept, let's set x equals 0. We have a 0 in our denominator, but we can't divide by 0. That's undefined. So there is no y-intercept. Now to find the x-intercept, Let's set y equal to 0. Our y is f of x. Let's get rid of the denominator by multiplying both sides by x times x plus 1. We get that 0 equals x minus 3. So x equals 3. Therefore, our x-intercept occurs at 3, 0. Now notice that this equation we got in our second step is the same as if we set our numerator to zero. That will work every time because we'll need to get rid of the denominator by multiplying it by, it by both sides. But when we multiply the left side we have a zero there and it will go away. So the shortcut is set the numerator to zero. Let's do another example. First let's find our y-intercept by setting x equal to 0. We're going to get y equals 0 cubed minus 1. All, everything with an x in it is going to get go to 0, so I'll just put a 3 down, which equals negative 1 third. Our ordered pair is 0, negative 1 third. Now to find our x-intercept, we have the shortcut of setting our numerator to 0. We'll need to factor this. This is the difference of cubes. And there's a formula. You can memorize it if you want to. Here we have x cubed. This one is the same as 1 cubed. So we're going to have x minus 1 times x squared plus 1 times x, which is just x, and then plus 1 squared, which is 1. So we know that x equals 1 is one solution. Now let's look at this one. If we set this to 0, it doesn't factor nicely. Rather than go through the whole quadratic formula, let's look at the discriminant so b squared minus 4ac. So we're going to have 1 minus 4, which is less than 0. So that means there's no real solution. So 1 is the only solution to 0 equals x cubed minus 1. Therefore, our x-intercept is going to be 1, 0.